Item number SCP-5916, Security Level 2, Containment Class Euclid, Disruption Class Vlam, Risk Class Warning, Research Head Charles Loon, PhD, Assigned Task Force, MTF Gamma 6, Deep Feeders, MTF Gamma 5, Red Herrings, Special Containment Procedures, an exclusion zone of 1,000 square kilometers should be maintained around SCP-5916 own 560 square kilometer zone. All flights, cruises, and vessels carrying boxers, as defined in Experiment Log 5916, must be diverted away from or around the 1,000 square kilometer exclusion zones. Instances of SCP-5916 are to be tracked via tag transmitters and recaptured if the transmitter becomes faulty or non-responsive. All incidents must be investigated by Mobile Task Force Gamma-6 Deep Feeders coordinating with MTF Gamma-5 Red Herrings on repression of any information relating to SCP-5916 incidents. Description SCP-5916 is a designation of six, formerly ten, great white sharks that inhabit the world's oceans. They generally appear to be ordinary members of the species. However, all known instances of SCP-5916 are identified by a large dark patch of bruising around one of their eyes, a black eye, and several missing teeth that they are evidently unable to regrow. Behaviorally, instances of SCP-5916 show no anomalous properties other than an in apparent inability to stray outside of reaching approximately 560 square kilometers in diameter. SCP-5916 instances and current statuses. Designation, status, 1. Active, 2. Active, 3. Neutralized. 4. Active 5. Active 6. Neutralized 7. Active 8. Neutralized 9. Neutralized 10. Redacted SCP-5916's properties trigger when a professional boxer defined as someone who has been paid to attend a refereed boxing match enters the region. Shortly after a boxer has entered its region of the ocean, SCP-5916 will become hostile and immediately accelerate towards the intruder at speed in access of Mach 6. Roughly 20 seconds before acceleration, SCP-5916's attack is preceded by a disembodied sound of a boxing bell ringing three times, which by means of observing past victims of SCP-5916 and testimonies of D-Class personnel before their deaths by SCP-5916, only the target can hear. SCP-5916's victim is typically obliterated upon impact, along with whatever transport they were using. All instances of SCP-5916 suffer no ill effects from the stresses and extreme heat of such speeds, instantly decelerate when the target is dead, and in cases of attacking aircraft, seem to receive no damage from falling back into the sea. SCP-5916 came to the Foundation's attention in 19 Beep off the coast of Central Africa after like Beep of Beep airlines vanishing coincided with an oceanic sonic boom directly under its last known location. A plan for its attack criteria was formulated after the appearance of another SCP-5916 instances, leading to current containment protocols. Level 2 access required. Access granted. Since Foundation monitoring began in 19 Beep, four instances of SCP-5916 have been neutralized. 3, 6, 8, and 9. 3. Neutralized in 19 Beep when his body was washed up on the shores of Beep. Autopsy revealed a partially destroyed jet turbine lodged in its throat, with no way to swallow food. 3. Likely starved. 6. Neutralized in 19 Beep when it attempted to ram a Concorde jet, charging at a speed far beyond anything previously recorded. 
Six appears to have miscalculated its attack, missing the jet by several dozen miles and throwing itself out of Earth orbit. Eight, considered neutralized in Nighting Beep when it suddenly dove downward at attacking speed and Foundation observers lost visual. Hydrophones reveal nine suddenly disappearing almost one kilometer from the seabed. Nine, altercation with ten. Level three access required. Access granted. 10 is a mobile instance of SCP-5916, not bound by the zone and swimming in a random pan around the world's oceans. Its appearance is differentiated from other instances of SCP-5916 by a slightly larger size and the addition of a darker patch of skin on its underbelly, resembling a championship belt along with a long piece of coral that 10 carries clenched between its teeth. In contrast to other instances of SCP-5916, Ten chooses not to attack other boxers, and based on interviews with it, considers most unworthy opponents. Level 4 access required. Access granted. Ten is evidently sapient. After displaying unusual behavior near Foundation divers attempting to tag it, Ten began to speak English. Though muddled by the water, setting up a mechanism to render Ten's speech clear was trivial, and an interview took place between Foundation researcher Dr. Yoon and SCP-5916 on beep. Excerpt from interview follows. Do you have a name? For God's sake, it's Bruce. The Bruce. You've been living under a rock. Uh, forgive me, I'm not a type to keep up with sports. Well, now it's my turn for questions. What's that weird yellow thing you put on my fin? It's so we can keep track of you. I'm not under house arrest again, am I? No, we want to know where you are so we can keep uh, certain people away from you. I don't bother with that. Look, I ain't young, but I'm still the champ for a reason. I got nothing to prove, and you two legs aren't worth the effort anyway. It's those young'uns I have to smack down every once in a while. You mean nine? Who? The other of your kind you neutralized? Beep. Off the coast of Beep. Oh, right. No punk thought he could take me down with a sucker punch. Showed him. 